I play Daphne Milne. I am the wife of A.A. Milne and the mother of Christopher Robin. She's a very complicated woman, especially when you look at her through modern eyes. I didn't want to shy away from any of her faults. You know, the one good thing about the war is there are lots of marvellous women around like you who are never going to get married because there are no men. So you can take on work like Daphne. this. Yes? But it's true. She could be quite cold-spirited. She had no time for tears. She had no time for sentimentality, all those sorts of things. She's never got anything just on the tip of her tongue. It's always just right out there. What Margot has done is not apologise for any of that. She's just said, no, this is who she is, and this is how she deals with things. And she's found the joy in that. Well, we're going on holiday, just to Italy for a month or so. They were the parents of their time, where it was quite natural to give birth and head off to Italy for six weeks, leaving the baby with a nanny. It's a different time, and it makes it so interesting to watch this family dynamic. Don't you just look perfect? Daphne definitely wanted to have a girl. I think that made it difficult for her to connect with Christopher Robin. And yet, you know, you can see the joy in Daphne's face when she gives the boy the toy. It was clear she loved him very, very much in her own way. Do you have room for one very small piglet? Yes. I have some very quiet friends. There'll be no trouble. Do you have any objection to tigers? <laughs> no. <laughs> one of the reasons I wanted to do this project was because my mum used to do voices for my Winnie the Pooh and my Teddies, which is what Daphne does to Christopher Robin in this film. Margot, when she was doing all the accents for the toys, I found it quite funny as well, and it was really nice. You do know it was me talking, not the bear. I was just playing, you see. You see how instrumental she was to the creation of Winnie the Pooh. The whole way through, you see that she's the driving force to creating this. The evening news was put Winnie on the front page. Without realising it, it was putting a huge strain on her family, but she had the best of intentions. He's going to stay a little forever, like my boy. Hey, Vale here with some cool movie facts on the efforts some actors go to to create the characters they play. For the role of Roger Kint, Kevin Spacey glued his fingers together in the film The Usual Suspects to give his left hand the feeling of paralysis. To prepare for his role in the film The Mask of Zorro, Antonio Banderas practiced with the Olympic fencing team in Spain for four months. Natalie Portman, for the role as Nina Sayers in Black Swan, trained with former New York City ballet dancer Mary Helen Bowers for up to eight hours a day, six days a week for over a year ahead of shooting the film. Adrian Brody, for his role in The Pianist, gave up his apartment, sold his car and moved to Europe with only two bags, so he could get familiar with his character's discomfort. He also went on a crash diet and lost 30 pounds in six weeks, weighing 130 pounds at his lightest during shooting. Whoa. Okay, so if you want to watch more videos like this, hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you receive the videos the moment they are online. Bye bye.